everyone welcome back to another counterside video so i hope you are having a great weekend um it's about sunday here in the philippines and the weekend is about to be off but today we will be discussing gear tuning increasing your stats but before that if you wanted updated counterside videos please hit the subscribe button down below okay guys so for gear tuning this has been a discussion in you know some of some of the chats that I've had that is really gear tuning important. Is it really that you know does it really make a difference if you tune your gears, optimize them? Does the little stats go a long way? Well, the short answer is yes. Because again, stats are going to determine um your progression moving forward. So the, the greater stats you have obviously um the better attack you have the better defense you have the better evasion you have so on and so forth so in terms of gear tuning which gears do you need to priority in terms of priority so first and foremost let's look at rarity so just to explain further when you look at your filters you have there four rarities Okay, so you have SSR, SR, R, and N. So which are they? So if you can see here, the gold background is actually your SSR. The purple or violet background is actually your SR. The blue ones here are your um, R. And the ones that are plain or have a plain background is actually your N. So the only gears that you're going to tune more or less is either SSR or sorry SSR or SR. Okay, so those are uh, the, the only um, gears that you're going to tune. And another category has to be be in there, which is actually tiering. So in terms of tiering, you also have here tiers. So you only tune gears which are tier six or tier five. But if you really want to to, to tune your gears, the least uh, tiering you can do is level is, is tier 4. So as you can see here, I already have tier 5 gear. Um, th this was actually a mistake I did before. So I maxed, I, I did tune a, this is a N gear, which is not supposed to be tuned. So anyway, it's, it's already equipped. So I'm leaving it there. Let's take a look at, let's see. Let's enhance. Okay, so we go to gear tuning here. Um, the bottom, this is your bottom left side. So more or less for Kyle, it's already maxed. Okay. But if you, let's look for a gear here that hasn't been maxed. Okay. So for his uh, tier six, his own uh, weapon, actually his special weapon or special gear. So more or less the, the, the stats here haven't been maxed yet so let's 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 do a change options okay so if you can see here if it's going to be a a purple color you that stat cannot be changed anymore okay but if that stat was yellow you can still change it as you can see here so you can change before you you do a tuning you have to decide first whether you're going to keep that stat or you're going to replace it so more or less let's let's try to let's try to change this one so change the critical damage so is it good is it better than anti-sniper damage probably probably yes probably no but anyway i i you can actually change this a bit and if you want if this is not the stat that you want you can still confirm this then re-roll okay so Try to confirm this one. So we're going to change it to critical damage 19%, which I think pro probably good. Okay. Again, once I'm done with change options, I go back to precision and try to more or less maximize their stats. So I have here, this is the currency that you're going to use your tuning binary. So you have to, this is actually, the, the increase is actually random. It's not a, a, a guaranteed increase. Like for example, from 51%, let's try one. 
it's going to be 65. That's a jump of 14%. Then if I do another one, that is a jump only of 9%. Again, the increases are usually randomized and uh, you just have to farm this currency if you really want to max out this option. But for now, let's leave it as it is because I'm really out of tuning binary. So we'll discuss later on where to farm your tuning binary. But there's another stat that you can actually change, which is your set option. Like for example here, let's look for a gear that I can probably change. Let's say for example, I want to change. Usually the, the ones that we would change are usually tier six. Because again, um, if you want to change tier five and tier four, it would really pretty much be expensive. And usually tier six are usually the ultimate ones that you change the gear sets. Because when the, when you get them, they're not usually your idea, your ideal, uh, what they call this, your ideal sets. So let's see what I haven't equipped yet. So this, I think, is for uh, Jushion, I think. Let's look at Jushion. I forgot. So let us equip him. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, Jushion, all right. So let's just check his... Um, is tier six weapon let's equip it so if you can see here i'm actually looking for anti-striker because i already have anti-striker equipped for his armor and i want to match it if i want to use it on him so let's try to change this one by gear tuning change gear set then more or less i have three chances at this because for each set binary um you only <laughs> it's 10 per per reset more or less so let's try to check a reset so let's try to change this one okay so it's crit right now which um i don't need so let's change it again so right now it's anti sniper um this is a bit <sighs> I'm not sure it's good. this is going to be good, but I'll confirm it now. I still want to change it, though, to anti-striker. So let's do a last one. So it went back to HP. Okay. <laughs> okay, I know. It, 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 it went to HP. So basically, that's it. If you really want to change um, this, uh, the, 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 the set option for your gears, do it for your tier 6. Don't do it for gears lower than tier 6. Because again, uh, your set binary is really hard to farm. So guys, let's go to farming. So more or less you have here um, tuning binary, which we will look at where you could farm. So let's go to your lobby monthly. In terms of farming those, you can actually farm them here in the attendance so you have here in the monthly attendance reward so i'm sure you're gonna get this on a monthly basis but i'm not sure i, I forgot how how many is this next would be your weekly mission so you can farm that as well in your weekly mission here your tuning binary then more or less uh, you can also farm them here in your dispatch dispatch is actually in your world map once you have set once you have set a a a, a mission um you can sometimes uh, this portion the the right hand uh, reward is sometimes a set binary so you can actually select those before you dispatch then also if you're looking at um the dive shop so here in your dive shop you can also buy this one so this is actually unlimited it doesn't have a weekly recharge so you can buy this one using uh your imaginary core next would be in today's deals sometimes it pops out here as well so um sometimes it it can be paid out as a credit so for this one it, it's uh, um, going to be for uh, quartz so i'm just gonna buy this one then more or less you have also convenience deals 
You can actually buy it here, but I'm not recommending that you buy it here. This is very expensive for 790 quarts. Um, gauntlet shop as well. Let's go to the gauntlet. So you have here your gauntlet shop. Um, where is it? So here. So I just actually um, bought it and this is going to reset after three days. So you can actually buy it here as well. Counter pass is also a good way to get it. I think even for free to play, you can still get it in your counter pass. So if you can see here for the normal plan, it's actually here as well. So as one of the rewards. So don't forget if you have the counter pass, please do um, get these rewards. Special events as well. You can get them. You can get them here in your sweet promotion. So I think it's here. Yes, it's here in your sweet promotion. Um, I'm sure that sweet promotion is just a limited duration, but more or less for other special events, I'm sure that there will be other tuning binaries to be given out here. And circuit link as well. If you haven't noticed, for your circuit link, there is also tuning binary and mission rewards. So Mission rewards are more or less you're going to do on a daily basis. So let's move on to counter case. So for each each unit that you have finished, your case 3 is usually a tuning binary. Then you can actually farm these in this level. So supply operation, you have here covert ops, but you have to clear a lot of hard stages first before you could go to this part so this is actually your main reward which is which is tuning binary but um you're going to have to open a lot of hard stages for your mainstream uh particularly in episode four then the last you could uh, you could farm these are in your let's go back to your world map then you have here your dive. So once the dive resets every, I think this is every month. I'm not sure, but you can get here. See, you can get here tuning binaries for you to farm when these, um, when this is open already. Okay, let's move on to your set binaries. So for your set binaries. Um, you could also get these in your monthly check-in, but again, these are very scarce. Next would be in your missions or your weekly missions. You have a you have it also here, but this is going to be a small amount, which is actually two. You can also get these in your counter pass if you are a paid uh, if you are a paying player. Of course, you can get this here. So there's a lot. Um, I'm not sure why they didn't put at least one for for the normal plan, but that is the case. Then you were going to go to your shop. I am not sure if it actually appears in your today's deals. If I can recall, I don't recall actually one pop, uh, popping here, but you might actually get one here. Um, also in your convenience deals, convenience goods, but I'm not recommending this as well because again, this is pretty much very expensive. Consortium shop, this is actually one of the best ways that you could get it here because uh, as as you mine these currency, these are actually going to be free. So 800, so you need 2,400 every week. So this resets every, every week, more or less, guys. So those are the... the the areas where you can farm, how to tune your gears, how to increase your stat. For those who have stayed this long in this video, um, please consider subscribing. Also, click that bell icon so that you don't miss a video of Counterside. And also, guys, please leave a like in this video if this helped you. And don't forget, please put a comment down below on your opinion on gear enhancement and on stats enhancement. By the way, guys, take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.